God damn it! Get down back in your hole! Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the top five volume shifted power boards for 2020 2021. Let's get right to it. Stay down in your hole! Number five, the LibTech Orca. Because if it doesn't make it on this list, someone will have a brain hemorrhage and die. They stiffen it up with the HP construction and it doesn't ride like it used to, so you can charge a little bit harder with it and really blast through that heavier snow. I'm really not a fan of it, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like HP, fuck that shit. But whatever, it's on this list. Number four, the Burton Big Gulp. You got taper, setback, Setback camber, basically everything all coupled into one on a board that's volume shifted so you can downsize and smash pow. Number three, the K2 Cool Bean. It's short, it's fat, it's a swallowtail, and it just smashes through pow like no other. You got such a wide platform, it just gives you ultimate stability when you're just out there having fun. It's good in low angle and steeper angle pow. Number two, the Battalion Camel 2, not the Camel Toe, the Camel 2. Slightly stiffer Camel Toe. Basically, it just allows you to just push through heavier snow with that nose and not have to worry about chatter. You got 3BT that's gonna help funnel that snow out and it is camber, so you're gonna have load and snap. Honorable mentions, all great boards, but just barely didn't make it on this list. The Marhar Woodsman, the Nitro Pow, the Gnu Gremlin. As I said, all great boards, but just barely didn't make it on this list. And the number one volume shifted Pow board for 2020-2021 is the Rosinal Sushi. Seriously, I have yet to find anyone that hates this thing in Pow. You just got such a wide ass platform up in the nose, it just pushes through everything. That taper, the setback, I mean, you have no tail, so don't really expect to pop much with it, but it just does a great job of being a volume shifted pow board. It plows through everything with ease. You can rail a turn and rail a slash with it when you need to. Plus you got the sushi light, the sushi regular, and the sushi wide. Basically it just covers everything for anyone out there. This has been my top five volume shifted pow boards for 2020, 2021. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not gonna miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really wanna support us and just help us grow out what we're doing over here and feed that goddamn wildebeest that I keep chained up in this room, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll continue to be your host, Averin Lefebvre, until that goddamn wildebeest attacks me and kills me and makes me into a skin suit. And I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.